Dave, I'm tired of your little good boy act. You know you're supposed to put that son of a bitch on blast. There's too many people out here on YouTube with no cameras but a lot of bullshit to say. I call it shit typing. And I truly believe in the debate. God damn, I'm losing my voice. I've been doing a lot of singing, Dave. Remember we got that project we're working on. I'm not to find something new. I found a series of cassette tapes that were damaged. It's not like it used to be in the olden days. You repair that shit with a little piece of scotch tape and go ahead and re-transfer it to another disc or tape or wow. Well, so I digress. Let me go back to what I was talking about. The shit typers. The art of typing bullshit. Um, those people who are scared to talk to everyday people walking down the street. Those people who are afraid to befriend people who are different. Those people who are scared shitless that someone can point out something and their flawed lies when they're trying to tell somebody else's that their life is flawed. These people are the shit typers. I can get on your page and watch your videos and have a million things to say. And, you know, it's like, yeah, I don't agree with Dave on this. I like what Dave said on this. I fucking hate Dave. Oh, Dave fucking rocks. I can do all these things in a video. But when some people get their mind up and they're built up and I'm going to do it. And they get in front of their computer. Fuck, Dave. You're a prick. You're insane. I hate you. You made me cry. Bastard. And then, you know. Or they say something negative or degrading. They can't, even when they type stuff on the page, like the person, you know, it's like, you're so morbid, and you're saddening people. Come on, man. If you sad because you looked at a damn video, turn your computer off. If a video makes you sad and shit, then obviously the video worked. Because if you can touch somebody's emotion from your kitchen, from your bathroom, from your backyard, from your living room, and you know you can touch emotion from the bedroom. What are these people going to do in reality? This is a this YouTube is a false sense of real reality. We are real people doing real videos and the real people out there watching our videos are so dense that they can't even comment without saying something negative because their brains are all fixed in that. Well, I'm not satisfied with what he's saying. Well, let me call him a prick. Instead of saying, you know, I don't agree with you, I'm going to call this guy a name. And that's what I've noticed on YouTube, that these people can't disagree with you. They can't disagree with you. They, they, they can't say you're saying anything wrong. They, they, they can't say you're completely screwed. But all they say is, you're a prick, you're an N-word, you're, you're a little white kid, you're, you're something other than what you are. And if this is, if I'm going to tell you the truth, I'm going to tell everybody the truth. Even though we sit here in front of camcorders and shit, uh, uh, webcams, you know, tell cell phone cams, we're reporters, filmmakers. Period. We report. We do films. We do documentary. Every day is a documentary. For when you grab that webcam and say, "Today is Friday." I'm tired as hell. People are riding down the street with the boom de boom music. I can't get sleep. Whatever you do, it's a do we're documenting each moment in time. And these idiot, prick scared motherfuckers, these cowards, are scared to let their faces be seen. It's like, I might say something wrong and people come after me. Because if you think about saying something wrong, you worried about someone coming after you. Don't even fucking think about YouTube. People threaten you, nigga, you need to die. If they can't agree with me, they don't know how to disagree with me. Nigga, you need to die. We ought to get your ass kicked. That's a motherfucker giving up. Dave, don't even fucking communicate with these motherfuckers who give up anymore. If you can't break out your camera, and look into that little eyeball. I call it the eyeball. Or the window. And I look in this window. I get all close on up on it. I'm not afraid. I don't have all my teeth. My hair's all messed up. I'm going old. I'm not putting makeup on my face. I don't give a fuck. Because this medium is not for storytellers. 
unless you've got a good story. This medium is, is, is not for just video doers. If you just do videos, I guess you could just do it. This medium is the greatest tool for social change that we have seen since the fucking TV. And on the TV, they changed the social makeup of America. They, those broadcasters who broadcast us. Why are they letting us speak now? When they didn't let us speak years ago. What if they built each TV back in the day with a little camera on it? Where when you're watching your show and you don't like something, you can look into the camera and it's like, give them a nod over at CBS, NBC, ABC. The three little letters. The ones that control us with the three little letters. So, you know... How do we know that we haven't been watched? How do we know they haven't learned how to talk to us through our own medium? And now, this point in life, they let us speak to each other around the world. And while we still have this, and you people in, out there and type it in hateful shit, while we're communicating with the world, the world sees how you type stuff on the bottom of our pages. The world sees how you think of other human beings based on what you type. You, some people type good stuff, some people type bad stuff, and some people type shit that is just a complete waste of time. But anyway, you put it. They're typing stuff to our videos. Not, not that guy who says something bad about our videos. Not that lady who says something negative about my hairline or, or the way I look. Not that person bashing black women. Not that person bashing races. Not that person hating on white folks. Not that person who has anything negative to type. They look at what those people say and they say, that guy on their screen, top, A number one. So when they say bad stuff on the bottom of your page, the people in the, in the booth are watching, oh, look at the feedback this guy gets. Hmm. Ooh, death threats. We better uh, check that out. We better run that son of a son of the IB, IB, IP address back. We got to find out who's creating these accounts. We got to create, we need to create a, a watchdog for the people who type the stuff in the bottom of our page. I know you're not saying nothing about anything negative in this video. But everything, everything, every time I talk about the... The people who type on the page, I don't have anything good to say about the people who, who type good. If you say something positive on my page and you don't have no videos or nothing, I don't give a damn. You tape something negative on my page and I go look and you ain't got no videos, no gut to speak, then I'm pissed. Because once again, here's a shadow. I'm not going to call them uh, the words that everybody calls them, trolls and shit. I'll call him a shadow because a shadow person is the real person's shadow. You want to create a shadow account to call somebody, to call Dave a Jew or to call me an N-word or to call somebody a whatever. If you're going to create a shadow account just to type in the bottom of people's pages, use the same account. I'm serious. These people who type negative stuff, they always... You know, they'll say something real, real hard and then cancel their account. Don't waste a name that somebody can else use, somebody can use later. If you're going to type something, they can run your IP address back to your house even if you only did the shit one time. So you can be stupid, you can be dumb if you want to. Ooh, I'll call him a stupid, dumb, black, monkey thing and fat. Ha <laughs> ha, what's my name? The Dark Slayer 196. Ha <laughs> ha, I got that nigga now. And then you send that shit from your house. All that information. And that IP address links them right back to you. Even though you cancel that motherfucker two minutes later after calling somebody in there, they have a line straight into your house. Let these stupid people, yeah, let these stupid people continue on with their doing, Dave. But don't, don't ever ever again comment out about a bullshit typer.
I'm, I'm, hey, this is my new, my new call to everybody. If they want to type some stuff on our pages, we're not gonna give them validity and let them, let them go with it. I'm done with them. They're too, too.